This is also a historic election, given that this is the first time a progressive ticket has a real possibility of winning. This Sunday, May 29th, the people of Colombia are going to the polls to vote for who will be their next president and vice president of the country. These are historic elections, given that they're taking place in a time of extreme violence and threats, not only against social leaders and human rights defenders, but against the candidates themselves. The historic PAC ticket led by Gustavo Petro and Francia Marquez have both received death threats. And this past weekend during their campaign closing ceremonies, Francia Marquez was uh, pointed at with a laser, causing her bodyguards to have to shield her with bulletproof shields. This is extremely concerning for the Colombian people and what it could mean for the guarantees to a clean electoral process and their possibility to vote in these elections. Francia Marquez, Colombian vice presidential candidate from the left-wing historic pact coalition, once again faced a death threat on the night of May 21st. A laser was pointed at Marquez as she was on stage during a campaign rally, addressing a multitude of supporters. Marquez's bodyguards immediately covered her with bulletproof shields to protect her and prevent an attack against her life. She was forced to abruptly finish her speech and leave the stage in the face of the alleged danger. As she was being surrounded with the protection shields and removed from the stage, Marquez shouted, They shall not pass. We are going to liberate our people. This was the fourth and the most serious death threat that Marquez has faced since March. The historic PAC's presidential candidate, Gustavo Petro, has also faced multiple death threats since April. He carried out his election campaign under heavy security. This is not the first time electoral candidates are facing such grave threats to their lives in Colombia. In the 1990 presidential elections, three candidates were assassinated two of whom were from the left and one was a liberal. The historic packed presidential ticket with Petro and Marquez is favored to win the upcoming presidential elections on May 29th. Their potential victory threatens to break the decades-long rule of conservatives in the country. Since the beginning of the election campaign, they have been constantly targeted with threats by illegal paramilitary groups allegedly supported by the Colombian right-wing oligarchy. This is also a historic election given that this is the first time a progressive ticket has a real possibility of winning. According to the recent poll by CELAG, the Gustavo Petro and Francia Marquez ticket is favored at 48% ahead of Federico Gutierrez, who is the far right's candidate in these polls. Despite the grave threats, Petro and Marquez bravely continued the campaign and closed it together with a massive rally at the historic Boulevard Square in Bogota on May 22nd. Tens of thousands of citizens joined the rally to express their support for the progressive leaders. We will be watching this election given that the key issues of agrarian development, unemployment, environmental sustainability, rights of the peasantry, and many other crucial issues are up for debate. Colombia is also at a moment of extreme upheaval. Last year, there was a 10-week long strike in which over 80 people, according to some human rights organizations, were killed due to state repression. Over a thousand were detained and arrested. And the demands of the people have yet to be met. People are demanding an end to the structural violence against human rights defenders, social leaders. Over 1,200 human rights defenders have been killed since the signing of the peace agreements in 2016. People are demanding the full implementation of the 2016 Havana Peace Accords to this day, which have not been implemented. They're also demanding the protection of former members of the guerrilla, who over 300 of them have been assassinated since their demobilizing in 2016. All of these issues are at play in these upcoming elections. People are very worried about their right to a free election. Gustavo Petro has rang the alarms that there's going to be an attempt to threaten the uh, safety of these elections. In his speech, Petro vowed to build a government that prioritizes life, environment, and productive development in the country. He also promised to fight inequalities, corruption, impunity, drug trafficking, paramilitarism, and consolidate peace. At the same time, he urged people to remain alert 
of attempts to sabotage the electoral process by the outgoing far-right government of President Ivan Duque. Francia Marquez, on her part, pledged to work in favor of the historically dispossessed and neglected minorities and committed to change that reality together with Petro and the people of Colombia.